Hello guys, today I'll talk about self-mastery, my new watercolour painting. I've been wanting to paint this spot that I visit often for a while and I used this photo I took during a cloudy day as a reference. As you know I love clouds and I try to include them as much as possible in my paintings and this was the perfect background for this character I had in mind when I drew this study of the pose long ago. I like drawing dynamic poses and I have plenty of studies in my sketchbook to use for future illustrations. To speed up the process, I took the photo of my sketchbook and I redrew the lines that I would put together with my background to create the composition I had in my mind. And this is how the composition looks. Then I printed the line drawing on an A3 paper to redraw it again on my watercolor paper. Um, for my composition I used some plants on the foreground to add depth and because I wanted to include all the things that I love in one painting to represent my idea. I love plants, the sea, clouds and martial arts. This is how the lines look once they're passed onto the watercolor paper and I love to use uh, my orange pencil for this part of the process. Every time I open my masking fluid this happens, so if you haven't used it before and you see this, just take it out, it is fine, there is no problem with it. Just uh, also important that you shake the bottle a bit before opening but let the bubbles that are created to settle a bit before applying it on the paper. This part of the process is delicate and it needs complete focus. As you can see, I use a masking fluid that has like a yellowish tone and this helps to see where you're putting it on and also once you paint it on to know exactly what you need to take out. Uh, but because of the pigment, it is important that you shake the bottle very well before you use it otherwise when you take out the gum you will see that kind of yellowish tint on the paper these small elements like uh, hands uh, fingers and things like that are the most delicate and tricky with this uh, masking fluid and you might need like a smaller uh, brush I use the same one because I'm kind of used to now and I just try to be very very careful with the tip um, but um, yeah the ideal would be even painting bigger sizes so you don't have uh, these tricky parts <laughs> I also reserved some white spots to create the light on the water like you can see in the reference once I painted a few layers with the blue, then I will take out the gum and then paint with blue on the top and then you, you can see the translucent colors from this preservation of whites. Here is my favorite combination of blues uh, that we'll use for the sky and the sea. And I use some from the tablet and some uh, liquid watercolor uh, from this brand that I have here. This one too. So let's begin with the sky and I'm gonna use my bigger brush. As you can see I use different tones to create that degradation that you see in the skies and I, I'm gonna use the same technique also for to see. I go from more intense blues at the back to more kind of uh, green blues uh, and lighter in the foreground. Once it was dry I peeled the gum and continue adding layers of the water until I was happy with the background. And this is how the sea and the sky looks like once I finish also the clouds and everything in that area. 
Now let's go for the character. The title of this painting is Self Mastery and is one of my goals in this life. To bring meaning and value into our life, we need to learn and master ourselves as well as not letting the hindrances stop us. And what are the five hindrances to self-mastery? I learned about them years ago from the Shaolin master Shi Henji and his lecture during the TED talk with that same title. I will share the link below in the description so you can watch it and be inspired as well. The master also explains that there are four methods to help you remove those hindrances and the first one is to recognize the state of the mind you are finding yourself in then afterwards accept, acknowledge and allow the situation or person to be the way it is and afterwards investigate your emotional and mental state by asking questions and the fourth one is no identification I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the emotions. It is just that I can see all these three aspects about me. If you really are into self-development and self-mastery, I totally recommend his channel and all his teachings. Uh, I've learned a lot through uh, his lessons about life. And now while the skin of the character is drying, I am painting the ground and I'm trying to create some texture effects um, like the ones in my photograph. I'm not trying to replicate the photograph, I'm just getting inspired for what I see and then I do it my own. It is very complicated to recreate exactly as I see in a picture and it's not my goal. My goal is just to take inspiration from it and then just uh, let the, the washes to create their own textures and then you're gonna see that I've added some uh, bit more texture even with the pencil to create that sand and rocks uh, materials. I am reserving some white places here too in the foreground so I can paint uh, the plants better because all this area is green grass uh, and I'm gonna be adding volume with different tones of green uh, but these uh, butterflies and the flowers are gonna be completely different colors so I want it to be very clean and defined with the shapes. As you can see, it's much easier and nicer to paint uh, the whole area with the same uh, flat color once uh, I have put the masking fluid to reserve all the different uh, colors that I will use later on with the butterflies and the flowers. After letting all these different um, layers of painting to dry, I'm coming back to the character and her clothes. I chose the typical colors of the Shaolin martial artists and also the colors of one of my favorite cartoons growing up, uh, Dragon Ball and Goku. Dragon Ball continues being super famous and it is loved by different generations. The premiere was in Japan in 1986 and then broadcasted in 81 countries worldwide. I remember watching it a lot in the 80s 
uh, yes, I am that old. And uh, it was a revolution in, in, in my home country, Spain. Uh, we were crazy about all the different movements and anime was kind of introduced around that time in my country and uh, we were all flipping out about a lot of things that nowadays generation are so used to in the animation industry. I'm sure if you're a child from the 80s you know what I mean and if not ask your parents that might be from that generation too. Here I'm beginning with the hair and uh, it's always tricky because of the small size of the elements and because I'm trying to create volume with the different shades of color uh, with a smaller brush I'm just trying to be very careful. For the light parts of the hair, I usually use my tissue just to take out the watercolor while it's still uh, wet. While the character is drying, I came back to the foreground and uh, I took off the gum and I'm working on the butterflies and the flowers. Now it's time to define more the elements and the lines with uh, color pencils, providing the final touches to finish this illustration. And this is how it ended up. I hope this video helped you and inspired you to continue creating and somehow to pursue your path to self-mastery, my friends. See you in the next video. Love and peace.